in today's session of Divorce Court. When Tyrell met Aisha, he heard wedding bells. But when they got married, Aisha got mad. You have to keep a roof over your wife's head. You have to make sure she has things that she needs, not necessarily want. So you want this divorce because you feel he didn't provide for I you? I want this divorce because he's not a man. He looks like a man. But Terrell says he was prepared to take care of his family. Did you get a job? Yes, I did. And did you make a better life for you and your wife and child? I would have, but she cheated on me while no, I was No, I thought, but you didn't know that. What did you do? <laughs> I cheated on him. You're pregnant with his child, and you have an affair with another man? Yes, I did. So you didn't really want a man. You just want no, somebody to you make you feel good sexually. Now, that's powerful. She says she did nothing wrong and that it's all his fault. Today, it's the case of Terrell Hopkins versus Aisha Sims in Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. <clears throat> Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Tyrell Hopkins versus Aisha Sims. I'm advised that you've been married two and a half years, but separated for one year. Ms. Uh, Sims, you filed for the divorce. Why? Yes, because we w before I filed for divorce, we had already been separated for, I believe, maybe three, four months, and I just knew it wasn't going to work, so I went on and filed for divorce. Why, why did you know it wasn't going to work? We've had a lot of problems in the past, and I didn't feel that it would work out, so I went on and got a divorce. What type of problems? A lot of problems. Well, a uh, lot of problems, problems didn't tell me much. Can you tell me the problems? A lot of, um, like, he's not reliable at all. Sometimes he is, and sometimes he is. He's not. So it's like you can't be a husband when you want to and just stop everything. What do you mean by reliable? And responsible. You have to keep a roof over your wife's head. You have to make sure your wife eats. You have to make sure she has things that she needs, not necessarily wants. So and he does not do that. How are you supposed to do that if your wife is sitting around all day, not doing nothing, not taking I care work. of nothing? I work. What are you, you talking work? about? I work. When did you work? From 9.30 to 9.30. What are you talking about? When you you know work? I worked. That job that you quit at after, like, two weeks? Why did I quit, Ronnie? Why did I quit, Ronnie? Good question. Why did you quit? Because you were lazy. No, oh, no. <laughs> no. We have, we moved from place to place, from place to place. And so whose fault was working. that? Whose fault was that, too? Oh, and that's my fault. Whenever we had a place, who messed that up? No, we never had a stable place to stay. It's a lie. So you want this divorce because you feel he didn't provide for I you? I want this divorce because he's not a man. Oh. He doesn't do what he's supposed to do. He's he does not, not take he care of his responsibilities. <laughs> Tell the judge when the last time you saw your son. Well, give me a not definition of man. About, wait, about wait, wait, two, wait, about wait. Stop, stop. Want the divorce because he's not a man. Now, that's no, powerful. He does a man. He's What's not a man, man Miss Sims? My, well, I was raised that a man takes care of his household, his responsibilities. And a wife does nothing. No, and a wife raised. does. You're going to tell me the definition of a wife in a minute. She's okay. going to tell me the definition of a man. The definition of a man that I was raised that he keeps a roof over the head no matter what. No I matter mean, what? I mean, you know, because, you know, wife have to have a roof over their head. You, he has to have a roof over his head. I mean, for both. I mean, you provide, you're a, you're a provider. So the man know? is a provider? Mm hmm And what else? And he stands up for what's right. I mean... What do you mean by that? Don't, man, don't let just anything and anybody set you back, you know? No, I don't know. I'm trying I mean, to have no, you tell I'm just me. Saying, you don't let nobody just because they say something or just because this is happening, I'm going to stop what I'm doing to do that. Instead, of, you know, your house got to keep going on and on. So it you don't just stop because. No. Is that what you're really saying? A wimp, but... You said he boneless, spineless? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> wow. <laughs> well, you said he don't stand up. <laughs> I just say he's not a man. I felt he's not a man. And that's where I want to keep that. Well, I see. I'm looking at a human being standing before me. Yeah. And he looks like a man. I know he but looks like a man. But you're telling me that he's not but a he man. But he doesn't take care of men's responsibility. He doesn't provide for you. Can I do the woman thing? Uh, a place over I your head. I do the woman thing. And you say she's not a woman. Um, she's a woman. I but mean, she's I'm not, not going to say that. She's, she's a woman. She's not a wife. No. Why? What did because, she do right? Well, I was raised that mm -hmm. the husband and the wife is supposed to take care of 50 50. You know, it's supposed to be, I'm supposed to have her what back when she's down. What generation was that? 50 50. This one? This one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to have her back when she's down, and she's supposed to have mine when I'm down. 
when I'm down, she never had my back. She was never there to pick me up. She was so never now you got to explain that to me. When you're but, down, she never had your back. I think I understand, but I'm not sure, and I want to make sure that I. If we were going through understand. bad times, uh -huh. hard times, the only thing that she would do is make them harder. I would support him in the end, but after it goes in the on, end. I mean, in the beginning, I'm sorry, in the beginning, but after it keeps going on over and over and the same thing, okay, now it's a new job for Ronnie. <laughs> It's a new job, okay, it's a new no, because start again. The jobs were never I'm not going to keep having your... No, it wasn't good enough for you. No, for you. Well, they were not good enough for you. I mean, so did you finally get a job win, somewhere were. out of the country or out of out the of state? The, I, I moved to Philadelphia. I got a job. When she was pregnant, we both decided that um, we needed to change something. We needed to be more stable for sure. So I had got a, a permanent um, job offer in Philadelphia at my old job, a job that I had before. And we talked about it. We discussed it. And we decided that I would move out there because she was pregnant. She couldn't do the traveling. Did you get a job? Yes, I did. In Philadelphia? Yes, I did. And did you when make I... a better life for you and your wife and child? I would have, but she cheated on me while no, I was going to No, I'm not, but you didn't know that. Life. Wait a minute, but she you didn't know that. She cheated on you. So okay, you know? let, me, let me tell uh -uh. this to you. No, Wait a minute, what do you mean he didn't know it? He so you're saying it's true? No, wait, oh, no. Yeah, it's true. true. Yeah, I did cheat it. on him. I did. I'm not going to deny it. He went no to Philadelphia to, to get a job to make a better life for you and your unborn child. Mm -hmm. And you cheated on him while, while he was there? While she was pregnant, I, mm -hmm. While she was pregnant. Yeah, while Charlie. I was pregnant. Go ahead. What'd yeah. you do? What you mean, what I do? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I cheated on him. Well, again, I have definitions. With another man. Oh. With another man. So you had an affair with another yes, man? Yes, I did. While he was going away trying to work and make a better job yes, for you and him? I sure did. Why was that? Because he was telling me what's going to happen and stuff is not happening the way he's telling me it's going to happen. So I knew it's the same old Ronnie Hopkins, the same old, everything's the same old, same she old. Did. I'm you not pregnant with this child and she you have an affair with way, another man? She didn't see things the way that, you know, she didn't see the, any improvement. Or she didn't think she saw any improvement. Well, so she, she couldn't went, see it from what you here mean, see yeah, from way I'm Philadelphia. Here. And so she went and Mm -mm. with some stupid guy that can't even read. Whatever. He can't and read. He takes care of your child, doesn't he? He don't take care of my he child. He takes care of your child, doesn't he? He takes care of your child. responsibilities. He what okay. is he doing for you that your husband wasn't doing? He's there for me. He's doing everything I need him to do. And I don't even ask for anything. I mean, okay. he's there for me. And he's anything. there for my son. So What is everything I need him to do? Would you please? I mean, not like I need him, like I need whatever, but he's there for me when I need him to. He babysits my son while I'm at, while we're, while we're gone, or where I work. He babysits your son. That's the only thing he does. Boyfriend no, it's working? Not the only thing he does. He's too stupid to get a job. He can't get no job. He's not too stupid to get a job. No, well, then tell true. me, is he working? No, he's not working at this well, point. Well, now you're mad at him because he's not working and you're married to him. And he goes off to get a job and you meet up with but another man is... that's not working? He's conniving and he's a liar and I'm not finna sit and with somebody and not be happy. And what do you call yourself? What? If he's not conniving and a liar, what you call yourself? I might be a conniving liar to him, but. I take care of my responsibilities. My baby has everything he you needs. You take care of your responsibilities yes, I do or some take other care man of my, takes care no, of No, I take care of my own. I pay for my child. I get things for my child. I'm saying as far as me, my personal wants and needs, he does that for me. As far as me taking care of my child, I take care of my child. I work every day and take care of my child. This man don't do nothing. Every blue mean baby drop off a bag of Pampers or something. So you act like you mad at him because... You cheated on him. No, so I'm mad upset? at him because what he put me through before it led up to me cheating on so him. So what he put you through? I'm I'm young and I'm married. I married this man. We don't have. We never have a house over our head. If we do it for a limited time, only oh, it's not lying. for temporary. I'm not saying it's all his fault, but I'm just saying it's. I'm just tired of. It. I'm tired of living with everybody, huh? Tired of living with everybody. I'm tired of living with everybody. I want us to have our own. If we're he... supposed to be a family. We're supposed to do, do things together. Do, 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 yes, I do have, have my own, own now. Have own now. I have my own apartment. Yes, I do, which I pay every month. Which you? What? Excuse me. Which you? I've been pay. over to your place. I, I pay know every you month. ain't got your huh? place. I already know you, you ain't Excuse got your place. You ain't got a lot of money. Whatever. Stop, stop. Whatever. Which you pay? Well, I pay. I pay my rent every month. Not the man that's meeting your needs and giving you no, everything that you want. I pay my rent. I don't ask him for nothing. So it's you, not his responsibility to do so that. So then you're, you're telling me a story then. You didn't leave this man because he wasn't providing for you. No, because you're with another man that's not providing for you. You're paying your rent and you're keeping the roof over your head. Mm -hmm. And you said a man is supposed to be a provider, <laughs> stand up for your right, right, keep a roof over your head. So you're not with a man. Well... The only well, reason why... Uh-uh, no, come on back with it. No, because with a I want to do this myself, huh? Are you with a man now? I don't choose to be with a man. I'm with somebody now. And, what, what and you I'm call happy, him? so that's it. But what do you call him? What you mean what I call him? I'm calling my boyfriend. You said he wasn't a man. What you call his No, as far as just getting married and not taking care of his responsibilities, as far as providing, no. But this, I have a boyfriend. I, oh, you call him a boyfriend? This is my boyfriend. So I a, have boyfriend a boyfriend doesn't have to be a provider. 
Well, I don't want him to be my provider. I want to provide for myself. That's why. So why couldn't you provide for yourself when you was married to Mr. Hopkins? Because. Because what? Because I, I um, gave up. That's why. I gave up. When divorce court returns. So you didn't really want a man. You just want no, somebody to you make you feel good sexually. And is Terrell really the father of Aisha's baby? Are you sure it's your son? Are you getting divorced? Do you need Judge Mabley and Ephraim's help settling a dispute? If you want to be a guest on Divorce Court, call 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Terrell Hopkins, who is divorcing his wife, Aisha, after she cheated on him while pregnant with their child. You started this conversation with me by saying that you were filing for divorce because he wasn't a man. Mr. Hawkins wasn't a man. He didn't mm -hmm. provide for you. He didn't stand up for your rights. You were moving from place to place. He didn't keep a roof over your head. And he wouldn't get a job. And that's what a man is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Now you're telling me that I got me a man that does everything I need him to do for me, but as I pay the rent and I buy everything and I take care of myself. Because I choose to, I do. That's so why. you didn't really want a man, you just want no, somebody to you make you feel good sexually. No, I didn't want that neither. No, I just wanted to get out of there, of that relationship. Well, then just tell the truth about it. You didn't like but this man. But I'm just man. saying, I didn't, because, man, man, when we were together, my idea of a man was, like my father said, like I told you, was provide. I understand we're supposed to provide together. It's 50-50. I do this and you do that. At the beginning, it was like that. After a while, it just blew, and I just gave up. I stopped. I, yes, I did stop being there for him. So because you gave he wasn't there up for and me went neither. to somebody who's doing... We both. We both. Um, I mean, I'll admit it. I did give we up. We both gave I mean, I'll up. Admit I mean, it so it's like we're sitting here in a relationship, in a marriage, that neither one of us wants to work. But I was you know willing what I'm saying? to do but whatever it took to make it work. neither one of us going to tell the other person. I, I didn't so give up and go sleeping you know around what? with nobody. I understand so now, that, too, and I really understand that. You're upset over this affair? That's the main thing that... I mean, I don't care about her sleeping with him. That, they can oh, you do don't? It. I mean, it hurt me. It bothered me a lot. But that's not what really got to me. What got to me was the fact that she was pregnant when she did this. Oh, the she fact that she my, was pregnant. Yeah, she put my innocent son through all of this. Every time I look at him now, I think about what she put him through, what she put me through. And, you know, I have to see that every time I see him. Are you what sure about what you son? put me through? I'm sure he's my son. Are you sure about that? About I'm, I'm not like that now. That. No, uh-uh. Well, I don't know. It's his son. I've been with him since I was 16. It's his son. I'm probably It's his son. son. Believe that. And it look, he looked just like him. Oh, so, so there's sure no question about sure that at all. Yeah. So you have to see your son every time. What do you think about when you go to pick up your child? Um, it's just kind of hard. It's, he reminds me of everything that, that we went through and stuff. You know, whenever I see her, I think about the fact that he was there when she decided she wanted to go cheat and handle her business and do whatever she wanted to do. He wasn't there yet. He was exactly. still there, though. He, he, he was there. He was in her womb. Yeah, he was there, though. And she, that was like total disrespect to me. I felt like I she agree. was just... I understand that. And I understand to the foot and like I told him, I really do understand. But it's like, man, it's hard. So now what you want from him, now that you're providing this other man is... Oh, he's not giving you anything. You're doing it all for yourself. Yeah. What do you want from Mr. Hopkins now? Oh, my picture. Why you want the Louis Armstrong picture? Because it belongs to me and it's mine. It was Why never Why does it belong heard. to you? Because my uncle drew it for, he drew it for himself, and I begged my uncle for it we for a long time. We begged his uncle, and it was you a, a not, wedding. You did not, Tyrell. You didn't even know. I'm, I'm the one, I'm the one that told you. you. My uncle just you drew this picture. Me. You should look at this picture. You that look picture at this was drawn before I even knew you. Well, who left the marriage? You did, Mr. She left. You left. No, well, well, it was kind of, okay, when I came back out here and found out she was cheating on me. Cheating was, is really putting it mild. Yeah, it was pretty much. I'd have a few other choice <laughs> words for it, but I won't say it today. <laughs> so it was basically both of us. So the marriage was over once you marriage got back and over, discovered yeah. that. The marriage done. was over when you left. It was oh, over before he I just left. didn't know yeah. it, huh? <laughs> no, it was, it was. over. We, that's we when, when I found out we, we were pregnant, we would argue through the whole. I mean, it was over before he even left. He went to. So why didn't you just tell him it was over? Because just like he didn't tell me it was over, no, he knew it was over. I didn't tell her because I was willing to make well, it work. Then, I was willing no. to do whatever. She so was the he, one that, that that it was over with, so she went sleeping with some. No, that's not. That's not even how it happened. So that's not even. Usually, when a marriage is over, people say to each other, "It's over." This marriage is over. He told me that. If she would have told me that, I would have stayed out there. He was going to Philadelphia to work to yeah. save his marriage so he could provide for you. Yeah. See, but came back broke believe anything. when he left, right? I came back with more money than you going to Oh, have. whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. You know, I'm not going to just let you and sit here and just say, you were Mr. Good. Oh, oh yeah, she cheated on me. But why good, did she do this? Well, what else did I mean, you all acquire during this marriage? Nothing, really. You look back and it's nothing. Nothing. Absolutely yeah. nothing. It just ain't nothing. We yeah. have nothing. Nothing to show for it, nothing to offer. We have nothing. 
They talk about, do you have any things y'all got together? Nah, no house. A house? <laughs> yeah, right. No house, no car, no nothing. Nothing. But nothing. this picture of Louis Armstrong. That's it. But that my picture right and there. And that's uh, your picture. The reason why that's I love this picture, picture is because my uncle drew this picture. According to these papers, Maybe the June picture was given to you as a wedding gift after the marriage. It was after, after the, marriage. the marriage. It was about it was June of 97 when we got that painting. No, it wasn't. We had that paint, paint longer than that. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know who, when you got it, but you have it. I had the picture in my well, possession. If went, I had the picture in my was, possession, why would we it be to, her gift? Because we went out of town. What are you talking they about? The, the, the show How did the you have it in your possession? Oh, my goodness. My father had the picture. Once, um, because we, moved, we went out of town. Once we moved, we agreed to let my father hold the picture hold the until picture. we got another place. And he had the picture. So how is it her picture? So then how did, whose possession is it in now? It's in my possession. At your father's house? Yes. I'm ready for the verdict. When divorce court resumes, the judge renders her verdict and an update on the case of Arlene Greer versus Kevin Greer. I have stood by his side through thick and thin, and now he's ready to dump me and my daughter. Divorce court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce court is back, and the verdict is in in the case of Terrell Hopkins versus Aisha Sims. Come to order. Court is back in session. This is a matter of Tyrell Hopkins and Aisha Sims again. Um, <clears throat> after a careful review of my facts again and the court brief that I received, I'm still advised that the picture was given to you as a wedding gift. A gift. That was what? said over and over, and now today you come in court, Ms. Sims, and say that the picture was given to you before the wedding by your because uncle. It was before and the I wedding and I wedding take it that you make that statement to try to make it more firm that it's yours because you No, not that. It's just because Did I ask you to talk? I gave you your turn. I'm not here to discuss and debate with you. Okay, this is my judgment. No discussion. But not only, I think it's despicable that you have the audacity to have an affair with another man while you're carrying your husband's baby. The man went to work to Philadelphia to find a job because you weren't satisfied with what he was providing for you. It's not clear to me yet whether you were working or not working. But you oh, both agreed. Did I ask you to say anything? Now I'm going to tell you, keep your mouth closed. You're a little spoiled brat that need to learn to accept life on its terms. You took a vow to be married to the man for better or for worse. And you could have worked a little harder, perhaps. But that's not a reason to end a relationship, and it certainly isn't justification for going out and getting yourself involved in another extramarital affair. And the picture, just like you deceived him about that, you've now come to this court and told me two or three different tales about the picture. The judgment of this court is that the painting is awarded to Mr. Uh, Hopkins. That's the least he could get out of this. That's my judgment. It's so ordered. The bailiff will see to it that you get it. When divorce court returns, an update on the case of Arlene Greer versus Kevin Greer. He lost his weight and decided that he's too good for me. Closed captioning for divorce court provided by. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in Divorce Court. When Kevin and Arlene got married, they both weighed nearly 300 pounds. But Kevin lost 110 pounds, and Arlene says that's when the trouble began. He lost his weight and decided that he's too good for me. I have stood by his side through thick and thin, and now he's ready to dump me and my daughter. You do not love Kevin, yourself. Kevin, my heart is broken. You have ripped my heart out. Arlene brought Kevin to divorce court to ask the judge to have Kevin pay all her living expenses for three months so she could get on her feet financially. What do you have to say about her proposal that you pay her expenses for the next I, three months for she and I your th child? I think that's entirely too long of a time for someone to get on their feet. The judge agreed to make Kevin pay for two months. 
Now Kevin and Arlene are working on a parenting plan so they can both take care of their daughter. And Arlene has started exercising and has lost 12 pounds. Um, I kind of expected something like that from her. I knew she would say something like that. I've heard it plenty of times before. We've argued a lot. I've heard it a lot. So I expected it. I'm just glad I got this over with. <laughs> I knew he was going to do it anyway, so it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. No, because I already knew how he was going to act, and I knew what he was going to do, and I knew how he was going to get the dress to be on his side, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's okay.